Hi everyone, it's Rob here from Blues Wireless, and today I want to talk about adding a prepaid, low-cost, secure, and low-power cellular communication option to really any modern ESP32 or STM32-based microcontroller. And I have with me here two such examples. One is the STM32-based Blues Wireless Swan, this one. It's a feather-compatible microcontroller. I also have another feather compatible microcontroller, the ESP32 based Adafruit Huzza 32. Now generally speaking, the cellular product I'm going to show doesn't really care which microcontroller or single board computer you're using, as long as it can communicate over serial or I2C, you're good to go. The note card is a tiny cellular system on module that was built from the ground up to include low power components with low power firmware defaults. It comes prepaid with 500 megabytes of data and 10 years of global cellular service. So how do we combine a note card with a microcontroller? Well, one way is to start by plugging the note card into a carrier board called the note carrier. These are optional but highly useful boards that act as a bridge between your note card and your host MCU. This note carrier in particular comes with a feather socket, great for these feather MCUs, quick connectors for peripherals, JST connectors for different power sources, and it exposes all the note card pins via the provided headers. I'm also going to add a new BMP581 pressure sensor from Bosch via this quick connector so we can see some real world data. Now the SWAN I'm using supports both Arduino and CircuitPython, so I'm going to use the platform IO extension inside VS Code to program my SWAN with Arduino. Alright, so a good first step is always to make sure we have a proper connection to our microcontroller and can build and deploy firmware to it. So to do so, I am going to simply put my SWAN into bootloader mode and I'm going to build and deploy uh, my simple firmware here, which is all it's going to do is blink the onboard LED on the Swan microcontroller itself. And sure enough, I've got a blinking red LED. Awesome. So we know we can actually communicate with the Swan. So next step is to use some real code and prove out this cellular note card capability. And to do so, I'm going to paste in a bunch more code here and we can walk through it really quickly here. Uh, again, I'm using the BMP581 uh, pressure sensor from Bosch but we are going to initialize access to our note card with the hub.set command. This is going to associate my note card with a cloud-based project so it knows where to send the data. And I'm going to initialize my BMP581. And we're simply going to, in our loop, we're going to gather sensor data every 10 seconds. And every 10 seconds at the same time, we are going to compose a note, which is a JSON payload that's going to get sent to NoteHub. And that note is going to contain temperature and pressure data. Now let me put my swan back into bootloader mode and build and deploy this. And as soon as this gets deployed, we will be able to, uh, the, the cellular modem rather, will engage automatically and start relaying our sensor data. So let's open up the serial monitor here to make sure we're seeing valid data come through. And sure enough, here's our temperature data and our pressure data. And there's our first note. So it's all the entire note card API is all JSON based. And we can see that one note is queued up to be sent to the cloud. So let's pop over to that cloud interface and refresh our Note Hub project here. Sure enough, we can see a connected device. And if I navigate to the events pane, we can see that I have some data.qo events. Now these are the pressure, pressure and temperature data that we've been sending. Sure enough, there it is. Now the journey doesn't stop here because what we want you to do is to actually route this data out. To do so, you're going to use a capability in NoteHub called Routes. So if I click to create a route, you can see there's a variety of different routes you can create to the big clouds, even to IoT optimized providers like your LoSAN, Datacake, and UbiDots. Now with that, hopefully you've gotten just a tiny little taste about how easy it can be to use something as traditionally difficult as cellular with your ESP32 or STM32 based microcontroller. If you want to try this yourself, head to shop.blues.io and grab a starter kit for a feather based microcontroller. Thanks for watching.